So an ankle sprain occurs because the ligaments on the side are not stopping the side to side motion of that talus from occurring. And so when you're stepping off a curb and you roll your foot or, you're step, or you step on an uneven surface and you roll your foot, it's that side to side motion that got you into problems. So you'll put a stretch or a strain or a pull on that ligament or on a group of ligaments and what will happen is they start to kind of tear a little bit. Remember a ligament is like a rope so it shouldn't stretch. But if you step or you put enough force onto it, it'll stretch it out too far and those fibers start to tear out a little bit. So that's what an ankle sprain would be and it comes from too much side to side motion being available. Another common ankle or foot problem is Achilles tendonitis or perineal tendonitis, any kind of tendonitis basically. And what that comes from is the fact that there's not enough up and down motion in your ankle. So think about when you're walking, you take a step and the foot goes back behind you. You need your foot to be able to come up past neutral. And that relies on your calf and your Achilles tendon along the back of your leg stretching out. When you don't have enough stretch or enough length in those structures, then you start to put stress and strain on the tendons. If that happens for a long enough period of time, you start to actually develop some arthritic changes or arthritis in the ankle joint itself or in other joints of your foot. Because what starts to happen then is those bones start to pinch against each other and they start to rub against each other as they're moving and that's what sets that up. We prevent all of those problems from occurring or from getting worse by making sure that the space in the joint stays as open as possible. You do that by making sure that you've got good mobility, especially in that upward direction, what's called dorsiflexion, by trying to limit and make sure that the ankle is as tight as possible in that side to side motion so that you don't get side to side shifting. And you prevent that by stretching and strengthening. Now it's very easy to strengthen for the up and down motion, but it's very difficult to strengthen for the side to side motion for that inversion and eversion. And that's really where physical therapy comes in. We can put together a specific program that's made for what you need to do in order to prevent excessive side to side motion. Now if you've actually got an ankle problem, whether it's just global ankle pain, it's some swelling, it's a specific point tenderness, it's, a, it's an Achilles tendonitis, it's arthritis, whatever it might be, then what we really need to do is evaluate your ankle, figure out what isn't moving properly, where the space isn't staying as open as it should be, where tendons aren't stretching out as much as they should be, and where muscles and ligaments aren't providing the support that they should be. Put together a specific program for you. Any ankle or foot problem can be taken care of, but it gets taken care of by putting a specific program together. So if you're having any ankle or foot problems, if you've had a history of ankle sprains, whether it's one or 30, if you've had a history of plantar fasciitis once or 10 times, etc., let the expert physical therapist here at Loudon Sports Therapy Center figure out what's going on with your ankle and help you to be able to have a good, happy life that allows you to move around without any ankle or foot problems.